Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. Uh, we're here again to do an updated video. We have many videos on uh, the web regarding our iPad vibration system. Uh, what I'm going to be demonstrating today is everything that is new for 2015. I'm going to go over a bunch of hardware changes and we've updated to Vibe Pro 7, which has some new features that I want to discuss with everybody. First, before I get into that, uh, very simply, our standard wired system uh, that everybody's uh, come to like um, is still on the market today, but we have for 2015 gone wireless. And what that's going to show you here is our carrying pouch for our wireless device. We do have another video on the web explaining this uh, device more in detail, um, but this is our new wireless accelerometer. It is a two channel device, so you can hook a second channel tachometer uh, for balancing or a second accelerometer for phase um, evaluation and we have an app called phase pro uh, that will walk you through how that's used as well so um, very useful tool um, the initial prototypes went out to customers that have just been very uh, pleased with the unit especially in dangerous situations balancing fans uh, closing machine doors during routes and being in areas that just you wouldn't be comfortable with a corded device. So uh, this is one of the first wireless uh, accelerometers to be on the market for the route data collection type device. Um, just a real quick show of the unit that goes with it still in its protective case is our iPad which has the receiver built into the back end uh, for the wireless accelerometer. Um, but for Vipro 7, I'm going to project on my side here what some of the changes are. Um, we have a tutorial on the web that's going to go much more in detail to Vipro 7 than what I'm going to do a glossary here. But what we did add is a higher resolution uh, in our main single measurement mode. Uh, so you'll be able to go from 1 hertz resolution all the way down to point 3 hertz resolution uh, for people doing more critical analysis. We also added an editing uh, capability. And as you see behind me, you're going to be able to see that we can edit all these uh, routes. We can copy and paste different names, so we can change names. But we can also uh, add a machinery list that will allow you to pick a six-point motor, for instance, and just be able to tap on that motor and it'll put all the vital points that you would normally take uh, for normal vibration, traditional points and their names. Uh, would be listed right there just by a tap of the finger. I just wanted to read a note from one of our customers. Uh, they wrote to us, uh, Dear GTI, we've been conducting vibration analysis for 25 years and this is one of the best data collectors we've ever had. We can do routes faster than any other instrument we have used and we really love all the updates that we get for free. Keep up the good work. So we, we do appreciate that feedback Everything that comes back to us for feedback, we try to implement into the system uh, and improve it and have you guys be able to load it directly from the App Store without any premium. So once you own the app, uh, any of the improvements we push down are for free. One of the other things we added to Vi Pro 7, custom values. One of our customers asked, well, geez, you know, you've got temperature you're trending and you have my vibration levels that you're trending as you can see here behind me but also I'd like to take a custom value of any particular asset I'm measuring whether it be oil pressure um, drawbar retention whatever that value may be I want to be able to manually input that data into my Vipro and also trend that and now you can see we've got that trending capability as well so it gives you a, another point uh, of reference to trend that you didn't have before. And that's not something that's in any other analyzer that I know of. Another thing I wanted to add uh, to my talk with Vibe Pro 7 coming out, uh, the customers that are using Vibe Pro 7 intimately use our web app as well for post-processing and for dashboards. So any, as you can see behind me here, anybody that wants to take a look at their entire plant, all the different areas of that plant, all the different machines or assets of that plant are able to click one button and know 
a dashboard of how many of these asset points are in red, how many are in yellow, and how many are green. And then they can drill down on those different points to find out what the spectrums look like and do all their post-processing. So we've added a, a, a few more bells and whistles into the web app. Uh, you can now view in a large spectrum. You can put up bearing points. There's a lot of powerful process or post-processing involved in our, our web app. So we wanted to show that to you as well. As a closing to the web app features that I just discussed, I just wanted to remind everybody uh, that's been using ViPro and now is going to ViPro 7. Uh, you know, we've had uh, over 700 users uh, transmitting uh, from ViPro 6 are now going to have an opportunity to jump to ViPro 7 with all these features. Uh, but not to forget some of the core features of being able to email measurements right from an asset point in the single measurement mode uh, with photos of that asset point and all the different attributes that we do have that we leverage off the iPad. Um, not to mention, you know, GPS location and some of all those other features as well as using the camera. Um, now adding this wireless functionality uh, to be able to take uh, measurements from, from a very large distance uh, we think is really, really going to add to the experience uh, that is the uh, iPad vibration analyzer. So we again encourage you to contact us at GTI Predictive. So on the web it would be www.gtipredictive.com or you can phone us at 603-669-5993. We thank you for your attention.